All right, guys, we're on a 2016 Ford F-150. It's got the 2.7 liter EcoBoost twin turbo engine in it. And we're going to do a relative compression test using this tool and a power balance using this tool. So let's get into the PCM module and we'll see uh, how this tool works doing both those tests. Key is on, I'm gonna hit okay. And we're just going to do system selection, and we're going to hit PCM, which is where that both those options should be. That relative compression is a very nice option. Uh, you don't actually have to hook a uh, oscilloscope up to do a actual compression test you can do a relative and what this does is it uses the uh, Ford has actually built this into their uh, PCM all vehicle manufacturers should have this same option in my opinion because you can do a uh, what it's called a relative compression test and what that does is it measures the current draw as it's going through a crank cycle and it measures how much current is being used as it as the piston is on its compression stroke exhaust stroke as it's going through its entire cycle and it determines which cylinders are have got more compression which cylinders have got less compression so uh, that's what's nice about it so we're going to hit special functions and there they both are power balance and relative compression so let's go ahead and get in the vehicle this is a 2016 Ford F-150 XLT and hopefully there's not going to be so much glare that you're not going to be able to see this. Yeah, that actually looks like it's going to work out pretty good. Okay, so first uh, we'll just do we'll do power balance. Oh, I guess the engine needs to be running for that. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. And there's the Ford actual uh, type of display. You can see this engine's running really smooth. It's got your RPM down here. And all these lines are the cylinders hitting. You got cylinder 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, and 6. And I'll rev it up a little bit. And what you don't want to see is, so the like this right here, the cylinder 5, it had one little uh, miss. Cylinder 3 had a miss, just real quick. That's not uncommon. When you're revving it up and letting off the gas, that's not that uncommon. So what you don't want to see is when you're under a consistent load. So like right here at idle, you can see how nice and smooth. And this is very responsive. I mean, this is... This is actually a lot more responsive than my Autel. My Autel kind of lags on this screen. My Autel does this same check, but it's real laggy. Uh, so it's kind of tough to, to rely on it. But uh, let me just rev it up to, a, to an actual consistent RPM. And you can hit clear and start again. And it just clears all those lines out of the way. Let me put my foot on the brake. Well, actually, I got the front end jacked up. I was going to put my foot on the brake and put it in gear and put it under a load. This vehicle has no drivability issues. I was just wanting to show these this feature uh, on this scan tool. But anyway, you can see it works great. It's got your RPM. Uh, got all your cylinders in the firing order uh, that it that it is. 
and it's a nice responsive screen. Cylinder 5 has a miss every now and then, but that, and you can hit record, so let's do that. I'm going to hit record. Stop. Tells the file name and everything. So let's go back. Let's go ahead and do this uh, relative compression now. The relative compression is a, is a good feature to have, and you're about to see why. So if you, if you have a miss, or if you are suspecting that you've got a cylinder that is weak on compression, whether you got blow bypass the rings, you got valve issues, and you don't have an oscilloscope, or you do, and you just don't want to take the time to, to hook it all up, you can do this relative compression test. And it tells you what to do here. Apply parking brake, which it is. Uh, it's in park. Uh, this test will automatically continue when the following conditions are met. And okay, I'm going to fully depress the accelerator pedal. And now it says crank engine for 10 seconds. So let me reach in here, grab the key, and get the camera up. You can tell that it sounds good when it's cranking. It does not sound like uh, does not sound like it's got any issues. So difference. So and that's the key word is difference. You've got zero percent difference between the cylinders. So here's your cylinders. There's the difference. Status normal. Uh, mean cranking RPM. It cranked at about 232 RPM on average. So if you had a if you had blow by whether it was valves or uh, head gasket, rings, whatever, that particular cylinder would show a difference, we'll just say 10% difference. Well, you would know that cylinder 5 is your, is your cylinder that's got the issue. Um, cylinder 5's got you know, more than likely lower compression. And it does that by measuring the current that it takes to get that piston up to top dead center. Because uh, obviously when, that, when the piston compresses the mixture in the cylinder, it, it uses more current. The starter has to use more current to, uh, to push that piston up and compress that. And the computer actually knows where each cylinder's at, uh, where each piston's at in the cylinder. It knows the compression stroke, and it's measuring the current that the starter's pulling and it actually will put that up on the screen. That'd be nice if it would actually show a graph uh, but it doesn't look like it does that. It just gives us a difference and but hey that's a really good check to do. This is what you want to see. You want to see zero percent difference between all the cylinders. So anyway uh, this is a 2016 F-150 with the 2.7 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine and this is the launch uh, 431 5 plus 5 pro 5 elite I've seen it advertised three different ways but uh, yeah that's a very good test to, to do so anyway you guys take care we'll see you